we're ready for finishing and I'm excited about finishing as always and a lot of people feel very um, uneasy about starting the finish. We're just going to use a shellac. I've got a new shellac. I've not tried this before. It's pre-mixed special pale polish which means it's just a blonde shellac. And uh, I'm going to sign my piece as I always do. So Paul Sellers 2018 give it some content for 50 years time when somebody starts taking this apart and wondering who made it. Very flammable, um, a lot of finishes like this, the shellac, because they're made from alcohol of some kind. Pour into a container, then you're not contaminating the whole bottle with debris or anything you pick up. I'm just using a hake brush. I'm gonna just catch these back edges here with a single quick coat like this Try not to trail across the corners, so come on the inside like that, so you don't get runs down the inside corner. This is so easy to apply. Into the, the finish and pull into it and pull, like this. I don't know why I'm doing the back edge, professional pride, whatever you want to call it, but now you don't have to worry about this. You can turn it right over onto that surface and not worry if you, because that's just soaking in so fast. I like the way this is flowing on. So pull those long strokes and then just work your wet edge. Edge, each stroke comes against a wet edge. So into the corner and pull. Dab onto the side. When you dab that brush onto the side, what you're doing is you're pushing the finish into the brush and don't, in, rather than scraping it on the side of the top of the jar. See how fast this goes on. And this is the speed that we put every coat on. We put them on the same. We can catch the front edge in a minute. But this first coat just gets soaked in so quickly. I've not used this before, but I like the way it looks. It, it's a blonde, it's clear, it's got no color to it. I'll be surprised if you put this on glass whether you could actually see any opacity. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna come here, pull from the corner like this. So I go into the corner and pull, 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 and just continue the stroke around I'm going on the underside of my shelf. So this is coat number one. Coat number two will go on exactly the same way. Coat number three will go on the same way. And coat number four, if I need number four to fill up the surface, will go on the same way too. I'm going to pull from here from that wet edge in the corner down this way and then up from the wet corner into the main body of the finish like this. So it's very fast. I'm gonna come along the front here. It's a wet edge to wet edge every time and then continue that pull round the bend. So inside is done except this top face. So I'm coming up on this face here. So I don't mind even if I touch the finish with my hands for the moment. But by the time I've done this, probably the initial strokes that I did will be drying off, soaked in and evaporated. So this is a spirit varnish really, so it spirits off very quickly. Ventilate your workshop as you would anyway. Pull, 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 pull. Nothing to it. This is really all there is to this finish. But you have to work quickly with it. You cannot, you cannot hang about. Front edge here, straight down and straight up. So you're getting the point of your brush into the corner, pulling up, into the corner, pulling down. Same on this one. 
And if you need to, you can leave this and you can let this dry for 15 minutes and go back in to another face. I'm going to do this outside face here. Pull my strokes. I've got the light reflecting and it's showing me any dry spots so I can, if you see me going back and forth, it's because I see the reflection or lack of reflection. It's the contrast that I get from the light on the top of the surface. Very nice, I like this finish. I'll tell you what it is when I've done. I can feel it starting to drag there. That means it's evaporating very quickly. I've done this. I've got the one other side and I've got the underside of here to do. So I'm going to stand this up on its end like this. And start from the inside here. Like this. And then up from the bottom corner. And I don't see any glue marks in here, which is great. If I did see glue marks, if you've got some glue that was rubbed onto the surface, just go with a scraper and scrape it down. Now when you get to those next strokes, the, the next coats, two coats, then you don't want to handle it. You will not handle that. because you'll leave your fingerprints in the surface. I can lie it on its back without a problem. This is a one inch hake brush, which is what watercolorists use for flooding large surfaces with, with color. Looks good to me. Okay. So this is the, the um, procedure for all the coats. Next I have to apply the next coat and apply a wax finish, steel wool it, and that's, that's the finish on this particular project. interesting to see how many of you make this wall shelf. This is the one piece that I ever made that changed the whole course of my life. I made this, this was my very first project in 1963 and um, I used about 14 or 15 hand tools that I still use now. Those are the tools I basically rely on. So go ahead and make one. I'd like to see a hundred, maybe a thousand of you make this project and see how much it means to you when you've finished it. Teach your kids, teach your grandkids. It's a great project for learning on.